In this video, we'll talk about the relationship between SIEM and OT Asset Management. Both are different software categories that have totally different purposes, and we will see how we can marry them together in order to give the guys in the SOC, the users of the SIEM, an advantage. So just in a nutshell, what is the difference? A SIEM processes events. In, in events in time, and they always have a timestamp, just as one example. An asset management on the other system is concerned with more static information. So the identity of a given PC or PLC or network switch for that matter, doesn't really change much. The configuration might change, but usually it doesn't change hourly or weekly. So um, both software categories are pretty different from their use cases. And now the question is, um, can we marry them together? The answer is yes, we can. And it does make a lot of sense for the seam to consume information from the asset management system. And the simple use case for this is what we call contextualization of seam events. And let me explain what that means. In the seam, often you only see the IP address or host name of a device that shows some anomaly. So you, you um, receive an alert and the only thing you may know about the source of that alert might be an IP address. Now, if you are in the IT domain, that might already be good enough, especially when it also comes with a host name. So for example, a specific IP address might ring a bell for the SOC analyst. He or she might already know, oh, that's the, the database server that is hosting our SAP system or whatever, especially when uh, this is also um, uh, co corroborated by a host name that might be uh, DB2 or DB3 or something like that, database server one, database server two. Unfortunately, with OT devices, the SOC people don't have that luxury. They usually have no idea about OT devices and to make matters worse, uh, in, in OT we often have the situation that uh, we have duplicate IP addresses. So a single IP address might not really tell you much. And this is where the asset management system comes in. So the asset management system would be able to tell you what that um, IP address might belong to, uh, such as a specific device that is sitting in a specific room and associated with a specific process. And that is certainly very valuable information for the SOC analyst. Now, certainly what you could do is you can just use two computer screens and type that information in, but certainly that's not the way how things are done today. So uh, what, what we want to achieve is a tight integration and I'll show you how that uh, can be achieved. Let's start with our seam. In this case, we're using Splunk. And let's just assume uh, in the seam has told you about a specific IP address. Let's just make that 10.2.30.167. And um, the seam alert, the seam event uh, that you have received doesn't tell you anything else about that. Now, what we are doing here is we are entering this as a query and in the OT-based technical add-on for Splunk. So what you're seeing here, that is the OT-based technical add-on for Splunk that we have opened here. And you, you could uh, use the same query from any other place in Splunk if you would then only have to also reference the source type that would be source type equals OT-based colon assets. Okay, and now you can search for this IP address within the data universe that has been pulled from the OT base asset management system. So by doing that, I get a hit. I get one event where uh, this IP address is referenced. And if I open um, the IP list here, I would find my IP address, sure enough. Unfortunately, this is not really user friendly. So um, I would have to uh, to open all these other fields here, these complex fields. I don't want to do that. And um, therefore, 
what I'm going to do is I will just um, put my query into the devices dashboard that is included in the OT base add-on for Splunk. So uh, if you just call it without any parameters, you will get a list of all the OT devices that have been imported from OT base asset center. But uh, you can also pass an IP address. So let's do the same thing here. Let's use our IP address 167. And um, now then this list is filtered to only um, contain devices with that particular IP address. In our case, we are lucky it's only one device. Uh, we already get an idea where it is, to which machine it belongs, um, and uh, maybe also the operating system, etc. But um, let's just assume uh, we want more data. We, we want the full story because we are getting the hunch, well, you know, it doesn't look good. This is an OT device and it's deep in our production process. It's in uh, the Flat Rock plant and somewhere within the body in white building. And the, the, the uh, easiest thing that we could do is we could just click on that um, entry here and that would take us to another, other, another dashboard where uh, we see more details for this device. Okay, so the single device details for this particular device. And uh, then the story gets uh, a little bit more interesting because we see many more details that are all imported from OT base. So we see the operating system uh, version. Uh, we see there is another firmware running. Okay, that is RS Lynx is also installed. That's already, th that's bad news because that would tell us right away, this is an engineering station. Uh, comes with uh, a ton of vulnerabilities, couple of network connections, and uh, then we get some additional details on the vulnerabilities. Okay, so uh, we would see all the installed software. We would see installed security patches. And uh, yeah, that, that doesn't look good. So that would be pretty alarming to the SOC analyst because he or she would see right away, oh, this is just plagued with vulnerabilities. Just for example, look at this one. We have this uh, uh, Rockwell factory talk vulnerability on this box, uh, base core of 10. And then we have uh, four vulnerabilities, critical vulnerabilities with known exploits. So that all doesn't look very good. Now, this is as f uh, almost as far as you can take it on Splunk. Uh, the beauty of this integration is you can easily get all the additional details that are known about this device and its connectivity and its relationship with other devices, etc. All you have to do is click on this field here, click to open device profile in OTBS Asset Center. And um, with that one click, you are taken to the device profile of that device in Asset Center, just like that. Okay, and then um, you get much more additional information. So for example, exactly where that box is located in the plot, in that particular building. Uh, you also see the system association. Uh, you see it's an engineering station. You see all the networks uh, that it's connected to and uh, all the additional stuff, all the applications that are installed here. Yes, that confirms what we knew already. This is an engineering system and it is plagued with vulnerabilities. So um, if you open this security section here in Asset Center, you would see right away all those vulnerabilities. Uh, if the orange highlight tells you some of those are come with known exploits, and um, here is the patch history that you also don't see in, in, in such a graphical manner within Splunk that tells you, well, th this box is totally out of patch. It was uh, patched four, four years ago. And uh, so the story gets worse and worse. Uh, you also see something about compliance. Yeah, we have seen that already as Adobe Flash Player running, which is forbidden in that context. So um, this really allows you to get a, a full idea of what we're talking about. Let's finally check out one of these network connections. Uh, just one click takes you to the network profile. And um, 
this comes with more bad news. So, so this engineering station is directly talking to a couple of actuators here. And uh, that means we are looking at a highly critical device. So um, that is what um, you can get from this type of integration. Within seconds, you are taken from very superficial information, such as an IP address, could also be a MAC address, could be a host name, to the full story, the full context. <laughs>